Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about parameters, specifically how you would use parameters to control the volume of data that you would bring into your Power BI desktop when you're authoring your reports uh, and use the same parameter to control the volume of data in Power BI service. Uh, to demo, uh, demo this, I'm going to use the sales data that I have. Uh, uh, as you're seeing on the screen, the sales data is by product, by date, by zip. And this data uh, starts all the way back from 2004 and through goes through 2019. So I have 15 years of data. Now, typically to build uh, my visuals and my measures, I need um, maybe three to five years of data. So this is usually enough to uh, build the trend charts that I need and any year over year or time intelligence calculations. Um, to achieve this, what I would do is I would go to date and uh, use date filters. And let's say I use after uh, a certain date. So in, let's say for this sample, I'll say anything after 12-31-2015. Um, so that gives me data from 2016 to 2019, four years of data. So that should be enough to build my visuals, right? And my measure. So let's say I hit close and apply. I get my data, build my visuals uh, and all the measures that I need and I'm ready to publish. And at that point, I need to remember to come back here and make sure I delete this filter step because this filter step, as you see in the formula bar is hard coded uh, to 1231, 2015. And uh, there's no way in the service for me to go edit this hard-coded value or remove this filter. So I need to make sure I delete it here in the before I publish it. Right? So let's see if there's a way to make this dynamic. I'm going to go ahead and delete this uh, filter step. And I'm going to go back and create another date filter. Uh, this time, I'm going to use a parameter. So right, I'm going to click on this box here, say new parameter. I'm going to give it a name let's say i call it start date make sure it's of data type date and i'm going to give it a current value i'll give it the same value 1231 2015. now if you look at the formula bar you see my i do not have a hard-coded date i'm using the parameter i just created and if i click on the uh, parameter on the left panel here uh, i can edit it as well let's say i make this to 2017 go back to sales you see now my data starts from 2018 i have you know 2018 and 2019 data two years uh, if i go back and change that to 2016 now again um, or rather let me go back change it to 2015 here so now i i get four years of data 2016 through 2019 right so let's hit close and apply and see uh, how we would publish this So I have uh, all the data that I need. So let's to validate this. I'm going to click on revenue and date. There you go. And I'm going to expand this out. I have four years of data. Let's say I built all the measures that I need and uh, all the visuals I'm ready to publish this. I would go ahead and publish this to the service. Right. Uh, for the purposes of this demo, I have already published this report. So this is how it looks in the service right now. I have four years of data. Uh, now let's see how I can, we're going to use the parameter we created. So I go back to the uh, data sets. And here if I click on uh, schedule refresh, you see this parameter section here. If I expand it out, I can see the start date parameter we created. I can change this to 2003, right? So I get everything from 2004, apply. And I can either set it on a scheduled refresh uh, or I can click on refresh now. Now I'm going to click on refresh now uh, and refresh this data, right? Now my data is refreshed. Um, let me go check how it behaves. Let's go back to reports, uh, go back to the report. And if I click on refresh, now you see I have data starting from 2004 all the way to 2019. So going forward, it uses the same parameter or anything starting from 2004. Every time I refresh it, this, uh, it's going to use the parameter and bring in new data. 
So this is a good way of um, using parameters to control uh, the volume of data when you're building in your or authoring in your desktop compared to your service. Now this works, uh, you know, when you're using data sources that support query folding. Uh, so if you're using something like Excel or folders or CSVs or SharePoint list, this uh, feature will not work. This works only um, in any of the other data sources like da SQL Server, Oracle, or any of the other databases uh, which uh, supports query folding. Uh, this feature works, so uh, just be cognizant of that. All right, so that's, that's it for this video. If you've got any comments, any questions, uh, put it below and we'll try to get to it. If not, have a good day. Thanks.